my crew. Hello. Yeah, we're back for more zombie killing goodness. Yeah. So let's do this. Get our stretches in. A little mm -hmm. bit of cardio, a little warm up, and then let's head out. Uh, as long as I put the ink ribbon away. Jeez. Yep, always be prepared. Even if it means be prepared with less things. You know what? I think I'm going to refill the flask real quick, though. Why not? It's only a little bit. Why not fill it? Put it back. What? Oh, it only put one in there because it was almost empty. That's fine. That's okay. So, now... Now we're going to try to use up our keys and uh, not get killed. That's the key right there. That's mm -hmm. the key. Don't mm -hmm. get killed. Sounds like a good plan. So there's one like key. It. One key down. And uh, looking <laughs> pretty good. Ah! Spooky music. It's spooky. It'll be okay. I'm right here with you. It's spooky, though. Okay, healing item, we got, uh, we don't need ink ribbons, we got this, nah, we don't need another herb right now, tell you what we do need, this guy right here, mm -hmm. uh, do I want to take the ink ribbons, yeah, let's take them, <laughs> Just can't, can't help yourself. No. I am gonna really quickly... No, I don't have to. Yeah, let's run those downstairs, because I don't want them to... F I need a lot of inventory space real quick. So we're just gonna run these back down and then... Because it's right there. You know, why not? I suppose. Get some more cardio in. Um, Random zombie pops up right there, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also help delay the inevitable of future combat. Um, Are you saying I'm afraid? Um, no, no, I'm, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, like, if... Uh, A zombie pops up, you're probably going to pee yourself. That's all I'm saying. Uh, possibly, you know, freaking especially wuss. since, I mean, you if music's mini? scary, then, you know... Hey. <laughs> Images. It's, it's spooky, <laughs> not scary. And mm, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Okay, so we use that old key. <laughs> we open up this door. We're going to go through the door, as doors are intended to be done with. And then shenanigans for sure. You hear that, folks? He promised shenanigans. Shenanigans. So if he doesn't deliver... Yep, just be ready. Be ready for the shenanigans. Oh, There's research a letter. Is well. <laughs> There's a letter. <laughs> the end. My dearest Alma, let me first apologize for not being able to call you. A man wearing sunglasses didn't permit any phone calls. Sorry, Alma. I sit here thinking of... I sit here trying to think excuse me of where to begin how of how to explain in a few simple words all that's happened in my life since we last spoke and already i fail i hope this letter finds you well and that you'll forgive the tangents of my pen this isn't easy for me also grammar is a bit of a pain even as i write i can feel the simplest of concepts slipping away lost to feelings of despair and confusion but i have to tell you what's in my heart before i can rest Oma. Please believe that what I'm telling you is the truth. Zombies be here and it's whack, yo. <laughs> the entire story would take hours for me to tell you, TLDR, and time is short, so accept these things as fact. Last month there was an accident in the lab and the virus we were studying leaked. Oh no. All my colleagues who were infected are dead or dying and the nature of the disease is such that those still living have lost their senses. Except, unfortunately, smell, it reeks. <laughs> this virus robs its victims of their humanity, forcing them in the sickness to seek out and destroy life, as in eat people. Yuck. Ew. Even as I write these words, I can hear them pressing against my door like mindless, hungry animals. Oh my, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I am infected, and there is no cure for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. 
Aww. In an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep. Where there is peace, please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. What a lovely man. Yeah, what a guy. It kind of added a little something doing the accent. I didn't really think about it. <laughs> it's very nice. Be Good job. Be hook. Be and hook. Oops. Stop reading that. Chris, you know you can't read anyway. Yeah, yeah reading's that. hard. Now we're gonna combine a few things. No, no switch yet. I have not done the thing. Let's combine these guys, because they look a lot alike. Use them. Why not? I'm gonna put this guy over here, because that's not where we got him. Yeah, now we'll press it. This kind of nice. this kind of <laughs> doing something a little early, but it's a, one of those things where it's like, oh well, we're here, why not? You know. Be. That's why I said be ready. Get it? Ha! <laughs> bee puns. That was a huge bee. Aren't we all? No, I'm a person. Aren't we all? Um. Yes. <laughs> Red herb. Green herb. Sorry, herb. I pronounce herb. Mm-hmm. Alright, combine the herbs, and then we got a super herb. Mm-hmm. Alright. And now... Now we're gonna grab that plank. Because it's there. And we're kind of near where you can use it anyway, so makes sense. I suppose. So where are you going to put it? In a room we haven't got in yet. You'll see. <sighs> I guess you can leave me to the suspense. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to. Wee. Wee. <laughs> you just insert, like... Patrick giggling or <laughs> as you're running through the hallways. Never gonna happen. Okay, so since Chris inherently has the lighter, that's good. Because as Jill, you gotta you gotta put it in one of your extra inventory spots and then, you know, use it here. But we already have it. We got a map. Okay. There's a locked door. Ooh, spooky. Spooky noises again. Ooh. All right, so let's a go. Yeah, it makes a huge difference running without a weapon though. I, d I didn't used to do that, but like, man, huge difference. <laughs> yep. So. Definitely a better way to go if you can help it. Yeah, why not? Woo! So where are we to now? Uh, well, we're gonna go to the other save room because it's closer to where we um where we need to use the plant chemicals we picked up earlier when we went outside. Mm -hmm. So. And then what? Then we're gonna use the plant chemicals. And then try to take over the world. <laughs> I like this plan. No, it's it's how we get one of the masks. A lot of this is like use a key to get a key to do a thing to get a key. So this is like <laughs> us using a thing to get a key. Right. Essentially. Not really key. Key item. Ho! Ho ho! I hear those zombies. They are banging on that window. See, probably by now if we hadn't burned the one that was laying on the ground out here, he'd be mm -hmm. up by now. Yeah. You did good. You did good, oh, kid. Oh, no! I didn't want to talk to Are you. you. Okay? I'm fine. Stop talking to me. No. <laughs> cool outfit, though. Yeah, you don't technically have to...
talk to her every time you come in here. Uh, if you... Wait a second. Okay, good. I was like, where's the rest of my stuff? I almost had myself a little attack there. Okay. So, let me get my bearings here real quick. Oh, right, right, right. We have to go down this hellish hallway. Zombies? Oh, yeah. Yeah, only a couple. <laughs> but not if we play our cards right. Well, yeah. hopefully we can play our cards right. <laughs> this is the problem with uh, windows on the ground floor. Because in Resident Evil 2, they have the same thing in the police station. Mm -hmm. There's like windows you need to board up because right. zombies. But anyways, we're going to use the plant chemical here. I'll show you what we're dealing with. I mean, would normal people open the bag and dump stuff in? No. No? We're going to turn it to red because red means dead and we want the plant to be that. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know why he just drops the bag in there, but it's Chris and he kind of does things that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Well, I mean, if it works, uh, why do more work? <laughs> Bruh. Mask number three. It's a little less ugly. That's good. <laughs> yes. So we're going to go hustle back and drop off this, this here mask and hopefully uh zombies don't trespass oh my word you guys are just hooligans they're just like hey it's you hey buddy come on is that, is that chris the redfield they just like they just jump after you you know, you know what know? i gotta worry about now hmm. like coming in the rooms that i thought are cleared and there's just like a zombie hanging out in there because <laughs> because whatever no yeah. See, so much she didn't fun. talk to us because I stayed away from the middle of the room. <laughs> or she's irritated because I keep telling her no. Let's mix those real quick. Okay. That's a good idea. Why not? Uh, is there anything else I need? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. I think I'm good. Where are we off to now? Well, the last mask is in the snake room. Mm. Which is just past where um, Richard was when he was bit. Mm. So we're going to head there. Right. Man, I love it when the zombies are dealt with. You don't hear... <laughs> in your ears. <laughs> Zombie ASMR. <laughs> it's like I can't fall asleep unless I have the living dead just moaning in my ear. Ugh, and Absolutely. don't think that he's joking. And he rain loves noises. falling to sleep to Resident Evil noises. I like Resident Evil. <laughs> it's good. It's good and good for you. Good for the soul. <laughs> I used to be terrified of these games though. I would not be able to be doing this right now. Uh, pretty much prior to RE2 Remake. RE2 Remake kind of pulled me out of my I guess you could call it phobia of these games because mm -hmm. I was like man this game looks like a lot of fun and it was well good uh oh okay well we might have to deal with him a little later I kind of thought he'd be crimson by now that's fine so we're gonna is that someone you would have wanted to light on fire yeah, but I mean, not if we can get by him without there being an issue, because we won't have to come over here again. Hey, that key's mm, done. Got it. Yeah, we don't really have to come over here once I grab what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. So if he doesn't turn crimson, it's not a problem. The only thing is he might come out of the door, like, if I go through the other hallway a lot. Mm. So, because they, they tend to not really stay where they are supposed to. Oh my gosh, sink! <laughs> what the heck? Okay. There's a snake in the snake room. Weird. Let's see if we can get by without getting snicked. Like our buddy Richard did. Oh, no snick for me. Got him. Very em. well done. Yes. So now, fortunately, 
uh, we have all the masks. Good. So now it's about going back and picking up the masks. Gotta go get the masks, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So, uh, well, clear then, right? you know what? I kind of want these, though. Why not? Yeah, why not? Since you're not going to go back there again, right? Right. Alright. So, we're going to take that shortcut again. Say hello to our new friend. Going to the party after all? No. Just, you know, going near one of the stray party goers. Oh, okay. You know, when I panicked and I saw that zombie there, that's not usually oh, there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we gotta go through there. He should be, he should still be there. I, I think it'll just keep resetting him over there, so I have no reason to ever have to deal with him. Okay. And I think they only go crimson if you knock them down. Yeah, as long as you leave them alone, they'll stay zombie zombied. Camera, cooperate. Okay. Let's get a going. Stop yelling at me. Okay, so this is it. This is the hallway. So we'll see if we're gonna get bit or not. I'm hoping for a knot. Oh! Bamboozled. What? What did you. This do? is what you get. Nope, don't come here. Sir. That took so long, it felt like. Yeah, it takes a while. Uh, I didn't like that. That's not cool. But it's a good thing we picked up that knife, because as, as long as we have a couple defense items... He didn't... He moves, though. That's annoying. It means that they don't stay in a spot when you leave a room. Yeah. But that's okay. All right, we're gonna dump these bad boys off. Uh, we ain't need no stinking healing. That's right. We could do it without healing. Every time I get grabbed, I have a defense item on. I don't, I don't think I've been bit yet, but I also haven't really lost a lot of health either. Oh, that's right, I can't go that way. Okay, well, we'll go the long way. But yeah, I used to have the I used to have the speedrun memorized, so like all the backtracking we've had to do, uh, not necessary. But uh, the speedrun I typically did was with Jill, so mm -hmm. you didn't have to make as many trips. You could kind yeah. of do like like where I've had to go to this the box to put stuff away or whatever like well because she has more space right so, so you can combine like objectives and stuff but i like i like chris better i don't know why it's a it's a lot more difficult but um i don't know it just feels more authentically survival horror whereas the other one feels like your hands kind of being held yeah i can so. see that Okay, so these stones are going to be missing parts and that's how you know which mask to put on, but I'm going to just, you know, put them on because I know which ones go where. Gross, okay. I'm put this bad boy. You know, because reasons, it's good to have. So it goes eyes, uh, everything, and then I think it's nose and mouth. No, I'm not close enough. There we go. Nose and then mouth. And then we're gonna gonna meet the prototype crimson head. Let the body hit the floor. Get on out there, boy. <gasps> oh no! Cage match. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> He's got me three minutes. Three minutes of playtime. 
Is that, uh, is that legal? I have weapons in this fight? Sir. No. But I don't play by the rules. Oh, you rebel. You know, I never actually thought about it, but I don't know if you have to fight him. Because all you gotta do is come over here and, like, press this switch and pick this item up. And then you can just get, you can just leave. So hmm. I don't know if you actually have to fight him or not. Interesting. Yeah. But we got, <laughs> we got a item we needed to go to a new section of the estate. Which oh yeah, so where are we to now? Mansion. We're going to leave the mansion. But, uh... Yeah, uh, yeah. Because you go through here, and then, um... So there's a door I haven't really messed with. The One of the zombies was blocking it before. But I took care of him. And his friend. So when you get that puzzle wrong with the, um... The birds? Yeah, do, do the birds attack you? Yeah, what you happens... What happens is, um... The thing they're perched on, that mm -hmm. bar, is electricity gets shot through there, mm -hmm. and the birds will come after you. Okay, because it, it's been a long room. time since I've seen it, so I couldn't quite remember. I have to really question the guy who built that if he knew there were going to be birds in there, and why he knew there were going to be birds in there, and how the birds got in there in the first place, because if <laughs> you notice, that wall, the, the door I keep going through, it was a wall. So, like, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Oh, how do they eat? They eat us. <laughs> they eat the failures. Yes. So, we're gonna go ahead and save over lucky number seven, of course. Of course. Yes. I think we're doing pretty good. Mm hmm. Dude, it's going pretty good. But I mean, too much of a good thing is a bad thing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, for today, I think we're going to call it there. We'll continue these uh, shenanigans next time. So, until next time. Goodbye. Bye.